hey guys and welcome back to my channel so this is an overall motivational channel i talk about a lot of different things i talk about law of attraction healing from childhood trauma personal growth self-love self-care money saving tips couponing weight loss and much more so i appreciate you for watching thanks for your support please consider subscri subscribing to my channel and with that being said let's get right into the video so as you can see by the title of this video i am going to be talking about why i quit my job so i have a list of eight reasons as to why i quit my job so if you see me looking down at any point that's because i have my notes right here and i want to make sure that i don't forget to mention anything so first things first i quit my job in april of 2018 so April of this year made a complete year of me not working a nine to five. And I just want to say that I am so grateful and I am so humbled that I am still in a position to not have to go back to a nine to five. I am so grateful. Um, so the first reason why I decided to quit my job is because of my kids. So it all started when I had my daughter. I had my daughter in 2013 and at that time my husband and I we weren't like able to spend a lot of time with her like we wanted with her being a newborn because he had to go to work I had to keep her and then he I would have to go to work and he would have to keep her and we were just kind of like on different schedules and so whenever I would get off work I would be tired whenever he get off work he would be tired and so we we never got the the chance to just like spend that time with her as a newborn you know and so that started to you know get me emotional it wasn't as bad but this is when it started so let's fast forward to 2015 2015 is when i had my son now after i had my son that's when i just started to just like really get a little bit irritated at the fact that my husband and i are always at work we were always at work uh, we, my husband and I, we never spent time together. Um, we didn't spend as much time with our kids because we were always just so tired and so drained from work. So, um, and then on top of that, we had debt. And, you know, we had to work because we had debt. I had a car that, you know, I really couldn't miss any days from work. So I had to be there, you know, in order to make sure all of the bills were paid. And it was one morning, I'll never forget, one morning my baby i think she was like i think she was one years old at that time because she was walking so i think she was one years old at the time and i I was i think i had got up at like because i was getting up at like 5 a.m and she was up at that time and so i was about to get ready to head out the door and she literally stopped and grabbed my pant my pant leg and she literally just grabbed it and just looked at me with that little bitty face she had and i just got so emotional because i'm like you know, I can't stay home with you, mama. I have to go to work, you know, but I'll be back. I'll be back later, you know. And so I went to the car and, you know, like, I literally started crying because I felt so bad that I can't even stay at home with my own baby, you know, because I have to go to work. This is something that I have to do. If I don't, if I don't go, then we don't eat, you know. And so that just motivated my husband and I both to, you know, try to find ways that, we could um you know make money from home and so like i said when my son was born you know it was it got like a little bit harder as far as um me and my husband both feeling the same type of way about not being able to spend time with them because like i said it was a cycle that we were going through we would work five days off two days work five days off two days it was like nothing was changing it was just the same old same old stuff every every day every week nothing was changing so that is why that's one reason why um i i quit my job the second reason why i quit my job is because i completely dreaded going to work like i hated it so like every morning so like i would have to get up because i would usually have to be at work at 5 a.m so i would get up at four o'clock sometimes 4 30 and as soon as the alarm would go off i would just sit there and i would just be like i would literally ask myself do i do i really need this job and every time my answer would be yes so i had to get my butt up and i had to go 
and it was just so bad because because even my husband noticed it because sometimes some mornings my husband was up with me as well and he would he would notice my energy like i would just be so lethargic so just not happy which you know i should i shouldn't have been waking up you know unhappy i should have been waking up grateful thanking god for allowing me to see another day but instead i was um just mad at the fact that i had to go work for someone i had to go to a nine to five and like i said my husband noticed it and he felt so bad for me he was like man i hate to see you getting up in the morning like that just mad mad as hell that you have to go to work because no one should have to feel like that and i was like yeah i was like you know but we have to do what we have to do right now you know so i would go to like i said it used to be so many mornings when i would just get in the car and i would cry before i went to work i would cry because i hated it so much and i don't know y'all i just hated it and I, and I and i remember i just remember those days like it would be some days it would be snowing outside and i would be up early in the morning and i and i used to always think like who should have to get up this early in the morning go outside and knock snow off their car i should be at home in the bed with my family you know and that's just how i thought and so that's the second reason why i quit my job the third reason why is because i'm one of those type of people i hate authority okay so i do not like being told what to do and you know normally when you when you're working a job and if someone asks or tell you something to do tell you what to do i mean they will not say please so and I'm, I'm that type of person like if you don't say please to me either i won't do what you asked me to do or i'll do it but i'll do it very very slowly like i i hated that like and, when, and where i worked there, a lot of people had a habit of not saying please when they wanted you to do something and i just hate being told what to do i hate when somebody tell me to go on break i hate having to get permission on if i if i can go to the bathroom or not i just hate somebody telling me what to do i just hate it I'm, I'm grown so i don't need anybody else telling me what to do you see what i'm saying so i hated that the fourth thing um and this thing right here really really just made me make piss me off so the fourth thing is i only is okay so let's say this so i start i worked my way up quickly when i was working here so i started off as a crew member I worked my way up to a crew trainer in, in a very short amount of time. I worked my way up to a crew trainer. Then eventually I worked my way up to a manager. So, um, start off as a crew trainer. Each time I would have an evaluation, I got the highest raise there was. And I think the highest raise was 35 cents, if I remember correctly. Because I remember getting 35 cents quite a few times um, while I was a crew member. So, I think the highest that you could get was 35 cents. Um, if it was more, I don't know. I just know I got 35 cents each time. So, um, I worked my way up to a crew trainer. When I was a crew trainer, things started to change a little bit. I wasn't getting 35 cents anymore because um, it really didn't depend on my performance. Well, it depended on my performance, but it also depended on the crew members that I had to train performance. So, however, they were working throughout the store reflected back on me because I was a crew trainer and I was supposed to, uh, and I was training them, you know, setting them up to make sure that they do everything right so all of that played a factor and that's kind of why so if they didn't operate um at a um proficient level then that affected you know my pay if that makes any sense so um when i was a crew trainer um i wasn't getting 35 cents anymore i think the highest i would get was like 20 and i think one time i even got like 15. so um after i became a crew trainer i eventually got asked to be a manager um, so I was I was excited to be a manager um, because it, it wasn't something that I was expecting, but I was excited to be in, be a manager, become a manager. But the thing about it, the only reason why I accepted the management offer when my manager came and um, asked me if I wanted to be one, the only reason was for the money, um, honestly, because like I said, uh, we had that at the time and I was like, you know, maybe I make more money, I can get some of this stuff paid off, you know, so I was just trying to like make as much money as possible. So I was only going into it to, to solely for the money because I'm thinking that, okay, since it's, you know, management, then, you know, maybe I get paid um, a little bit. I know that I get paid a little bit more than what I get paid now, you know, 
and so I went through the process oh well first because I think this was the time when I was pregnant with my son um and I left during the during while I was I was um a MIT a manager in training I left then once I um, delivered my son took some time off I came back when I came back there were like three other people ahead of me um, to do the management program so they went through I had to wait until they got done so then it was my time to finally um, go again so I just wanted to say that this entire process while becoming a manager was so stressful for me when I say I hated every part of it I hated absolutely every single part of being a manager in training because in my opinion and I'm not saying this to bash anyone or anything but my manager at the time she I don't know I think at that time she was going through personal stuff in her life and she was kind of like bringing it to work and so she she just wasn't the, the the nicest person to work with so I'm just gonna leave it at that and so I finally got through my management program um, she didn't grade me on this one it was um, someone who was higher than her who graded me on this one and I passed I did very well I passed so um you would have thought that I would have been excited to know that I that I passed but I wasn't I was not happy because I felt like was it really worth it for me to go through all of that stress because like I said during this time I was I was taking my work problems home so I was going home with problems I was like I had an attitude like towards my husband um, and it's it just like you know how when you have a bad day at work and then you go home you really just don't want to be bothered and stuff like that and so I noticed that you know and so I was like is it worth it you know is it worth it for me to be a manager is it worth it for me to continue doing this you know um, but I got through it and I was like you know let me just keep keep pushing forward you know because I have to and so when my manager did finally pull me to the side to tell me how much I was going to be making now at that time I forgot how much I was how much I forgot the exact amount I was making I know it was over $11 and when she told me my new amount that I was going to be making it was only 25 cents extra first off I was like in my head I was like you mean to, you mean to tell me that I literally sat up here worked my butt off at this job and to become a manager to only get a 25 cent raise number one I was insulted I was disgusted and I was offended that the only thing they gave me was a 25 cent raise so I was pissed but I didn't even say anything to her at that time so once I cooled down I went to um, my other store manager and I went to him and I was like so when you become a manager does everybody get only a 25 cent raise I was like because that just doesn't make sense to me like I worked my butt off to get to this point I'm going to be doing way more work than what I normally do as a crew trainer so you're telling me the only thing that I can get is a 25 cent raise and so I told him about it and he was explaining different stuff to me and stuff like that and I was like okay and so I found out that he went back and he told my other manager and so she came to me and she told me that um she was going to talk to the owner about giving me another raise and so they talked about it whatever eventually she came back to me and so i had i already took the 25 cent i already had the 25 cent that they gave me so when she came back from talking to the store manager she came back and told me that he was going to give me an additional 50 cent raise so at that point i was supposed to have gotten a 75 cent raise total so um pay paycheck day came around and i noticed that i got my check my um pay was a little bit higher than the 75 cents it had an additional 25 cents so i don't know if that was a mistake or what but i didn't say anything about it so instead of me getting a 25 instead of me getting uh, a total of 75 cent that extra 25 cent that they gave me put me at a dollar so overall i got a dollar raise to become a manager now i was more satisfied with that so um, and the one thing I want to say is that people will pay you whatever you accept. Now, if I would have sat up here and I would have just accepted the 25 cent raise, then, then guess what? I would have just accepted it. But no, that wasn't, I wasn't rocking with that because I feel like 
all of the people in the past i guarantee you that that they did not just give them 25 cent i was probably the only person that they gave 25 cent to and it was such an insult to me so i just wasn't rocking with that but i'm grateful because she did fix the issue i got my additional raise plus an extra 25 cents so at that point i was happy you know but don't let nobody like if you feel like when you get a raise if you feel like you deserve more then speak on it otherwise people people will make a fool out of you that way okay so my next thing my fifth thing is that um i was losing weight i was stressed and i was losing weight okay sorry guys my camera uh, went out so yeah i was losing weight during this time like my pants were getting too big and i was like why am i losing so much weight and then i thought about it you're losing weight because you're stressed this job is stressing you out so i was like uh uh uh, -uh. It, it's not it's not worth it it is not worth it like if i would have known that i was going to be stressed like this doing this management thing and then and then also to know that i that i would have only been getting paid 25 cents cents to become a manager i would have most definitely straight up from the door i would have most definitely definitely declined the offer you know so i was stressing about that so I, I my weight i was not able to gain weight for quite some time um which was sad you know because i mean i was trying to lose weight but not that much i noticed that my weight was coming off super quick so that was that was bad weight that was coming off and it was because i was stressed it was because this job was stressing me out I, and i was like again i asked myself is this worth it is it worth me losing weight going home mad no you know it's not worth it okay so my sixth thing is that i wasn't too fond of some of the people that i worked with now you know that you know you have jobs and you know they're always going to be a person or people that you're not going to get along with i'm not going to even get into the details with it i was just not fond of some people the for the most part the majority of the people i worked with they were cool but i wasn't too fond of some of the people so that's that and my seventh and last thing as to why i quit my job is because one time i had an evaluation with my manager and you know we were talking and stuff and at that time i guess she completely forgot how much i made as a manager because when i first started working here i made i was making 919 i was making minimum wage which was 919 and so i would like i said i worked my way up um one day i randomly got um got a 25 cent raise from the store owner and then each time i would get my evaluation when i was a crew member i got the highest um raise which was 35 cent since and so um yeah you know we were talking and stuff and she was like uh she was talking to me and then she was like um oh how much do you make um 12.50 i said no i don't know if she, i don't remember she said 12.50 or 13.50 but i was like no i make 14 dollars she was like you make 14 dollars I'm like, yeah, you know, and that <laughs> was so offensive when she said that because I'm sitting up here like in my head, I'm like, you don't think I'm worth $14 as much as I bust my tail here at this job, you know, because she was so shocked at the fact that I was making $14 that she could not believe it. She made it seem that seemed as if, oh, wait, this is a mistake. There is no way that you should be getting paid $14. That's how her expressions were and that's what i got from it maybe she didn't mean it like that probably not but that's what i got from her you know what i'm saying and that right there really just disgusted me when she did that and i was so offended but you know what i didn't say anything to her i didn't say anything i just went home i told my husband how she's how she said it we talked about it and he was like you know what don't worry about it because guess what you're going to be away from that job anyway you're, you're going to be away from that job soon soon anyway so those are the eight reasons why i quit i mean the seven reasons why i quit my job now i quit my job um so the day that i walked in and returned my keys were april 25th 2017 but i can i mean 2018 i considered uh, myself quitting on the day that I had to go back, which was April 27th, because I wasn't working on the 25th. I was supposed to work on the 27th, but I turned in my keys on the 25th because it was my day off. During this time, 
my mom um at the time this is when we were on good terms during this time she was on her way to come up here and visit and so i called my job because i was like hey um one of the managers answered the phone i was like hey um i'm calling out for my shift on saturday because my mom is coming up here um to visit for the first time and i need to make sure that i'm at the airport to pick her up her and my brother i need to make sure that i'm at the airport to pick them up he was like okay cool thank you for calling letting us know i was like cool so i continued to do what i was doing at home and then about maybe an hour or so ago i mean maybe an hour or so later he calls me back he's like yeah um my other my other store manager he was like yeah um she said that you need to come in and you need to find somebody to cover your shift i was like okay and i hung up the phone i was immediately pissed off because number one i'm calling two days ahead so that gives y'all plenty of time to find somebody to cover my shift because it, it's like this it's like sometimes they will cover your shift sometimes you will have to come in and, and and get your shift covered now there have been plenty of people who would call and say that they can't make it and they will get their ship covered no problem but it's like this particular and like i said before this even happened i was only working two days a week so i, I was going from working full time which was five days a week then my husband and i we went, we went down to four days a week and then after that we went down to only two days a week and i noticed that once i went down to two days a week she, uh she started treating me differently um, and I don't know if she didn't like the fact that I was going down to two days a week. I don't know, but she started treating me differently. And so I say, so I was like, you know, I told my husband, I was like, any other time when I called out for my shift, she never told me to come in and find somebody to cover my shift. She would just always get it covered. But now, you know, since I've gone down to two days, she wanted me to come in and find some, and get somebody to cover my shift. And I wasn't going to do it because I was like, nine times out of ten ain't nobody gonna cover my shift anyway because i mean people want hours but when you go to ask them to cover your shift they act like they got stuff to do which was okay you know i understood that but i took offense to that because i'm sitting up here like any other time you'll get it covered but now you want me to come in and get somebody to cover my shift so i wasn't okay with that you know so i was like you know what i'm tired of this y'all like i said i don't know what had gotten into me to that gotten into me that day i believe it was just my breaking point of you know what i'm tired of this nine to five stuff I got to go you know so i went in there i returned my keys and i left out and i'm telling y'all the moment i left out from dropping my keys off in that place was the moment that i got the biggest relief it was the biggest release relief off of my shoulders like i felt so good like i felt like this was what i needed i was so happy i wasn't even worried about how much money we had say like i said at that time we uh if you watched my previous videos at that time we only had like five thousand dollars saved i wasn't worried about that i was not worried about that i was just so happy at the fact that i no longer had to walk into another job and clock in for nobody else i was so happy but what i want to say is that i i am truly grateful for that job i think i was at that job for a total of five years i did learn a lot there um i don't like i don't have like anything against anyone working there or nothing like that this was just all of this was just all me my feelings towards working a job period you know something just had to change and so but i but i'm grateful for the experience to have worked there to have um became a manager i learned a lot being a manager so i'm grateful for that experience but your girl had to go um and so i just wanted to make this video um in hopes to inspire someone like i'm pretty sure there i know that there are a lot of people out here who are working a job that they hate who are doing something in their life that they hate they don't want to do it they're doing it because other people want them to do it but I am here to tell you, take that leap of faith, no matter if you don't know how it's going to turn out. Take that leap and start doing what it is that you want to do. Because I promise you, if you, st if you start doing what you truly want to do out here, I promise you the money will come. Leaving my job was the best thing that I could have ever done. Now, I wasn't planning on quitting like actually quitting i was planning on putting in my two weeks notice but it didn't work out like that and at first i was i was i was i was a little sad about like just quitting like that because i'm not the type of person that will quit a job 
but I was like, you know, it is what it is. It happened. Obviously, it was meant for me to quit like that. Everything happens for a reason. Everything is going in divine order. So, me quitting, that's what, that's what I, it happened that way. So, that's what it is, you know. And so, after that, and, and like I say, quitting that job was the best thing that have ever happened to my family. I quit in April. A few months later, in September, my husband quit. And when we both just when we both were done it was like money started coming our way left to right left to right i'm telling you we started making so much money once we quit our jobs and start doing what it was that we truly wanted to do we have made so much money all because we started doing what we wanted to do so my advice to anyone out there who wants to quit their job do it I say do it try to have some somewhat of a plan but do it because you will never know how life will turn out for you so I just wanted to make this really quick video I hope you guys enjoyed it if so let me know in the comment section below and I will most definitely respond back to you guys and with that being said I will see you guys in my next video bye